The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant, whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, on his arrival, finds doing so. Amen, I say to you. He will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour, and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord We usually hear this Gospel reading of today during the time when the ordinary season is already ending. Yet today, at the middle of the ordinary season, we are reminded to stay awake because we do not know when the hour of the Lord will come. And Jesus uses the comparison of a thief who does not send a text message to the owner of the house, I will come at this very hour. The owner does not know when the thief will come. If he would have known it beforehand, who among those who owns a house with something to be stolen would not stay awake because nobody would allow a thief to enjoy taking something from your own. That's why Jesus uses this comparison to challenge us that every day, every time, every minute of our lives is always an occasion to meet the Lord. Maybe for our reflection, let us point to challenges today. The R, the coming of the Lord, the invitation of the Lord, may come concretely to us when we die. In other words, let us prepare always by doing what we ought to do every day because we do not know when the Lord will return or when the Lord will take us back to Him. In one of the meetings of a family who have experienced death of their father during the meeting the youngest of the brothers asked and told the rest of the brothers because our dad has just died let us spend as much as we can to express how much we love our dad because this is our last time to show our love for him but the eldest one who took care of their father when he was sick stood up and said yes I have nothing to oppose when you said we have to show love to our father because in fact we love him so much but this is my question where were you when he needed you most where were you when he was still in the hospital where were you when he was looking for your care while he was still alive. 
Yes, my dear friends, every time, every moment of our lives, we should show love and concern for others because we do not know when our time will come. And secondly, my dear friends, the gospel of today calls us to be accountable and responsible in our everyday undertakings. That's why the second part of the gospel says, Who is that faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Like a student who does not cram, a student who keeps on studying even if exams are still far from the scheduled date. Like a student who is always prepared every day for quizzes, this should also be our attitude. Like somebody who reports to his office on time, even if the boss would not arrive on time. Somebody who does not work hard only when somebody is looking at him for evaluation so that he might be promoted in his job. This is the call of the gospel of today. Accountability, responsibility. We are challenged to be responsible, accountable in our daily undertakings even if nobody will pay for us, even if nobody will recognize, even if nobody is looking at us. Because the Lord always looks at us. The Lord is always with us. He knows our hearts, whether we are honest and true, whether we are giving our best at the very moment. So my dear friends, stay awake because we do not know when our time will come. Remember this, not one of us can bring back yesterday, nor shape tomorrow. Only today is ours, and once it is gone, it will never in all time be ours again. I repeat, not one of us can bring back yesterday, nor shape tomorrow. Only today is ours, and this will not be ours for long, and once it is gone, it will never, in all time, be ours again.